Man, oh man, what are we doing on this game right now? As you guys see, we are playing Call of Duty Vanguard. I never really thought I would be back, especially we're back on my second account. It's not even my main account. As you guys know, I'm trying to get every single Mastery Camo in one year on every single Call of Duty. So we've been playing a lot of Vanguard recently. I have every single SMG up to max level. I now have all the shotguns are finally done. And now I'm starting to work on the pistols. Only got one done. Almost done with this pistol, which is like a one-shot Annihilator type pistol. But yeah, Vanguard's been very interesting if you guys want to see more vanguard please let me know i know usually you guys don't like the vanguard videos overall but if you guys do please let me know down below and subscribe anyway let's just see if we can get into a match because it is double xp double weapon xp and double battle pass xp i think but obviously i only care about the double weapon xp since every single gun to get the mastery camo with atomic has to be up to level 70 ah uh, this in mw 2019 how did we go from this to like what i think is perfection now with interstellar okay let's just see if i can get into a match i bet you i can pretty much only find tdm i actually found a match pretty fast i'm gonna try sniping because i never really sniped oh no yep okay <laughs> i have a feeling this is not gonna go too well on vanguard today oh hit marker i'm pretty sure this is one of the first maps i actually played on vanguard got him level two getting kills in this game is definitely super satisfying this has to be like one of my favorite call of duties just like getting a normal kill we're dead. I also think the blitz mode and overall the combat pacing of this game is what made this game really good. Now is this Call of Duty actually good? No, but the combat pacing and all that made it definitely better. This is going so bad. Yes. Hey, level three. One kill equals one level up. Hey, I'll take that. What is this? Oh, oh, this is the anime bundle. Oh, and look at this. Oh, this. He ruined it. Bro, how? Why? Oh, hit marker. I just wanted to see the anime bundle, man. Is that him? That's it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it just dropped right on him. I can definitely tell this 1911 pistol is going to be fun to level up. Oh my. As of now, I'm trying to like level up at least one gun every other day. I'm doing the pistols right now, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But like once I get to the AR, I should be able to do like one gun a day. When you guys are seeing this video, I'm actually on vacation right now. And I won't be back for a couple of days. I plan on maybe even vlogging. Okay, this 1911 is good. Some gold old US Texas. This map was actually in World War II. I'm actually surprised they remastered a map like this. Yeah, I heard no scope okay someone was talking game chain said i could hear you too i thought my mic was unmuted i didn't even really play this map when they remastered it i'm pretty sure they remastered it one of the last seasons in vanguard which i really wasn't playing vanguard at all right inspect jump off boom do they only have three people like the grind and the journey for this is gonna be long and painful just finding a full lobby is already impossible in this game Ooh. Oh, yep, double shotgun. Is this what we've come to? Squad bomb, no! I think one of the reasons this game failed was because it was too much like World War II. Nobody wants a game like World War II. After having the jetpack era, we all wanted boots on the ground, but we all wanted like more modern game. We don't want like some kind of like war game where it's just dark gray, and I still don't know why we get Call of Duties with these palettes. Like to me, I would rather play like Black Ops 3, which is colorful, vibrant, Cold War, pretty much any Treyarch game. Dude, if I die to these one more time, I'm backing out, and it's going to be a 3v3. Actually, no, they just had the guy spawn. 4v4. I oh, know if I leave, it'd be a 3v4. Yeah, whatever. Dude, is the entire team using a shotgun? I think all four guys, well, three guys, are using a shotgun. Well, of course I died to the one guy who's not using a shotgun. Dude, that's it. That's it. Give me... I'm never playing that map again. This game's been going on for five minutes and the score is fortune and 29. And it's a 6v6. Uh, we need some good combat pacing in this. I've never really sniped in Vanguard, but it's definitely satisfying. Yeah. Oh, if I would have got him. Oh, that was almost a collide. I'm cooking with the sniper. How did I miss that? Challenge me. Got him. Hit marker. Oh my, we're nine and two right now. Never thought I would actually have a game like this on Vanguard. 10. Oh my. Vanguard sniping is so fun. I'm gonna get this guy, see him. Thank you, tracker. No, no, no. Oh, we're dead. We're dead, we're on a 10. No, from where? Oh, he was on me? Look at this little bot. You're one kill off the Vance UAV. There's no way someone's sniping like that. There's no way someone... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. If that guy's still there, I'm getting him. No, he still is there. 
Double kill. Oh my god, triple kill? Where's the quad feed? Where's the quad? Dude, we're never gonna get the quad. Oh, at least we just went off. We're only down by six with a minute. We can come back. Lock in team, we got this. Got him. Got him. Got him. Quad feed? Come on, come on. Get here. Yes, no, hit marker. Oh, wait, what? Did I just do damage to him? Oh, we're gonna win the game. I just got a clean quad feed in Vanguard. What? I'm like, not that great at sniping. I know these guys aren't good, but like, hold up. Just like that, we came into the game. We were losing and we just won. Just like that. And I got a quad feed with the sniper. And I won play of the game. Oh, this was literally to win the game. How is this not a collide right here? Oh. Oh, it's only gonna show three. I mean, it makes sense. It, it took me a while to get that fourth. Team MVP, come on. Come on. This was also one of the coolest features in Vanguard. The fact that you can vote for MVP, I actually love this because it gave you a little bonus XP. I'll take my 24 XP. Everyone better vote for me. I literally came in and helped us one. There's no way. The honorable mention's not gonna win. Oh, yes! Last second buzzer beater, baby! Thank you. The fact we got 12 levels in that one game, this could be easier. Do any of these actually help me though? Also, it is 10v10 TDM now, and this is like what I was just talking about. There's different combat pacings. There's like a normal 6v6, 8v8, 7v7 even, 10v10. Personally, I think 8v8 and 10v10, even 7v7 is perfect. 6v6 for some reason feels too slow. Even just adding one extra person, I think makes a huge difference. No, we're not going back to these, right? What? Apparently I didn't shoot first, which I definitely did shoot first. Dude, I have zero kills. Got him. Run all the way over here. Try to get two in their spawn. Aim. Got him. Got him. Coming back to Vanguard, I've really enjoyed my time on here. I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not gonna be that YouTuber that says Vanguard deserved a second chance, but giving it a second chance, hey, I've enjoyed it. But at the time of this Call of Duty, we definitely did not need this Call of Duty, and I'm glad it kind of got the hate it kind of did. Obviously, as a YouTuber and as a growing YouTuber, I want every single Call of Duty to be amazing and be good no matter what. It's only gonna help out me, it's only gonna help out the channel, it's only gonna make us enjoy the Call of Duty even more. But the fact that this Call of Duty failed, I think really showed other big studios around of how we want a call of duty that we don't want a call of duty like world war ii anymore we don't want a call of duty like this gray palette that we've been getting we still got mw2 and mw3 though so i can't really say anything but with black ops 6 and treyarch hopefully that will change when i'm going in i'm going in because i'm still standing after all this time i'm seeing you pick up my things and because uh, 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 i'm still standing after Boy. all this time we just died this map flows really well in 10v10. I've played this map many times on 6v6, and it definitely doesn't feel as good as this. It feels like we're constantly getting into a fight on a big map. Okay, that was a nice little double kill. It's honestly nice playing this. I've been playing a lot, a lot of shipment only, especially the limitless shipment. Let me tell you, that gets so dry and so boring so fast. It's actually so painful because everyone playing that game mode is apparently just amazing. Got him. Got an intel. Okay. I'd like to see if I can go on a little streak again. That was fun the first time we did it. No, 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 no. That's the shotgun kid. It's always the shotgun kid. Level 2,500 running around with that. The kid is max level running around with dual shotguns. I respect it though. Even though I don't want to, I do. How? What? I literally shot his face. I shot his face. Surprisingly got Doss Haas. There we go. No scope. I don't know how you lost that. I would uninstall the game right now. Well, maybe don't uninstall the game because I actually need you to play. Don't oh, mind me. Hello there. Oh my. There's no way that was a hit marker. Ah. Dude, from like getting like no hit markers to only hit markers. I'd like to know your guys' honest thoughts on this game. Because like I said, I, if I had to give it like a out of 10, I'd probably give this game around like a four or five. Dude, uh, yeah, maybe a three, two. Because this game definitely just kind of, oh my dude. This game definitely kind of killed my interest in with Call of Duty. I would say like the least I've ever played Call of Duty was around this time. The launch of this game was so fun. When I tell you I had so much fun when this game came out, I really do mean that. Like, when this game came out, I was one of the first people in the entire world to get a gold gun and to get Prestige 1. I'm not lying about it. I even have, like, a video up on one of my old channels of it, and it's still up to this day as I just got back-to-back -back hit markers. I don't know why I'm getting so many hit markers when I literally just put on a damage barrel, but okay. Dude, what is going on? 
I just can't. I'm getting too many hit markers right now. I don't know how I'm getting some of these kills. Oh no. Oh! He's rocking double shotguns. That is a sight you do not want to see, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this 1911's so good. Triple clap. Dude, how? How? Can I stop getting hit markers? It's like every fourth bullet is a one shot. That, like, look at insane. That's one hit marker in a row. That's two hit markers in a row. Oh, that wasn't a hit marker. Maybe it's like one out of every three. Find you, bud. Dude, getting a hit marker and then getting my face blown out is the worst feeling in Call of Duty right now. Ooh. I thought I said this guy went 28 and 100. That's that's our time, though. I was like, because I barely went positive. I thought I went more positive. If you guys want to see more Vanguard or more Call of Duty videos, please let me know because I might be switching up here soon with a little special video. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching and peace.